Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will study about robot configurations. There are four main types of configuration of a manipulator. Cartesian, cylindrical, polar and articulated. Apart from these four, we will study one other configuration that is SCARA, which is widely used in industries. So, let's start with first configuration that is Cartesian configuration. As we have already studied in previous lecture that three degrees of freedom, hence three joints are required to position and an effector in 3D space. In Cartesian configuration, all three joints are prismatic joints or sliding joints. Look at this diagram over here. It has three joints. All of these are prismatic. Here at joint one, only linear motion along Z axis is possible. At joint 2 along X axis and at joint 3 along Y axis only linear motions are possible. There is an upper and lower limit for movement of each link. The workspace here is cuboidal. I have already explained what is a workspace in lecture 2. If, if you have not studied it yet, I would recommend to pause and go back to lecture number 2. So the workspace here is cuboidal. The second configuration in a manipulator is cylindrical. In cylindrical configuration, one prismatic joint is replaced by one revolute joint. So it has two prismatic joints and one revolute joint as shown. Three different configurations are possible over here. Any one of the three joints can be a revolute joint. The workspace in cylindrical configuration is a hollow cylinder. Due to mechanical restriction, generally, it is not possible to rotate the vertical column to full 360 degrees because of the presence of actuators on, or transmission elements. Usually, a full 360 degrees rotation of the vertical column is not permitted. Okay, moving further, the third configuration is polar configuration. In this configuration, two joints are revolute and one joint is prismatic as shown in the figure. Any one of these three joints can be a prismatic joint. So the possible configurations are RRP that is revolute revolute prismatic, PRR prismatic revolute revolute and RPR revolute prismatic revolute. The workspace in RRP and RPR is spherical but in case of PRR the workspace is not spherical. Mechanical stiffness in polar configuration is lower than the previous two that is the Cartesian configuration and cylindrical configuration. This configuration is mainly used in machining processes, spray painting, etc. Okay, now the last one that is the fourth configuration is articulated configuration. It has all the three joints of revolute types that is RRR configuration. Workspace in RRR configuration can be a full sphere. With proper sizing of links and design of joints, workspace can be a full sphere in articulated configuration. This structure is most dexterous one. I have already explained you the meaning of dexterity in previous lecture. Here, this configuration best simulates human arm. Thus, this configuration is also known as anthropomorphic manipulator. Positional accuracy varies with arm endpoint, location and workspace. Moving further, next important thing is SCARA, that is Selective Compliance Assembly Robot Arm. This configuration is formed by the combination of articulated configuration and cylindrical configuration. In this, the revolute motions are confined to horizontal motions only, that is the links can revolve only horizontally resulting in high compliance in horizontal direction of course and high stiffness in the vertical direction. The stiffness of the SCARA in the vertical direction is much much more than the other type of configuration. Therefore the SCARA is used in industries for assembly applications. So that was all for this lecture. See you in the next lecture.